Hey what's going on guys, I taught you how to connect your PS5 controller to your PC, now it's time to teach you how to connect your Xbox controller to your PC, and I promise you it's really so easy. But as always, if this video ends up being a help to you, then please be a help to me by liking and subscribing, it really goes a long way, I promise you that. Now without further ado, please enjoy the video. Okay so we're going to start off with the simplest and easiest way to connect your Xbox controller to your PC using a USB-C cable. Yes it's a wired connection but it's a really good connection and a stable one and honestly most PC players don't really ever sit more than a couple feet from their PC so it's a very good way to keep connected with your PC and your controller. Now you're going to get a USB-C cable but your USB-C cable needs to be able to perform data transfers. You see there are two types of USB-C cables. There's the regular ones for charging and then there's ones for charging and data transfer. You need the ones for charging and data transfer. This, this will not work if you have a regular old charging USB-C cable. You can charge, like you'll connect your Xbox controller to the PC and it'll charge, but you will not be able to use the controller for any type of gaming. So I'm going to go run this through right now. And you'll see, in fact, I'll actually use my phone to record it so that you can see. It's a very simple process, but it's a good, a good tutorial shows you all the steps. Okay, so I have the controller and the USB-C cable. It's a very simple process. Here you go. I'm plugging it in right there. Of course, I got to flip the USB. Let me see this. Come on. Nah, come on, son. This is not... This. Thank you. All right, now. Now, I plug it into the controller like so you even heard that you see so now we're going to switch back over to the pc now the xbox series x controller did connect but as of right now just our luck microsoft's latest update along with windows and the xbox software they're not getting along right now when wired up so unfortunately you won't you won't be able to see me use the controller wired up but you will see me use it with Bluetooth and with the wireless adapter, which is literally the same experience as playing with the controller wired up. So by the time that Microsoft has all this figured out, or if Microsoft is already good on your end, I promise you that this tutorial still applies. Now the next way to connect is through Bluetooth. This is a wireless connection. What you're going to do, you see the top button here, you're going to hold this until it starts to blink. You see, now it's blinking which means that it's looking for something to connect to on Bluetooth. So you're just gonna come with me here. You're gonna go to Bluetooth devices, or if you, for whatever reason, you don't have that pinned, you can just type in Bluetooth here, search it up, and it's usually right there. It's, it's very easy to find. Then what you're going to do, you're gonna go to add Bluetooth or device, Bluetooth, and now it's searching, and it'll say Xbox wireless controller. All you gotta do is click that, and it will connect. You can see it now. Xbox controller connected it stopped blinking very simple but obviously your PC needs to have Bluetooth enabled your PC has to be Bluetooth capable if it's not then it'll be connecting to nothing so those are the two ways now let's go on to a more interesting way that a lot of people don't even know about even me myself I just learned about which is through the wireless adapter and if you don't have Bluetooth the wireless adapter option is the option for you because it will give you the ability to connect your Xbox Series X controller to whatever PC that you want without really needing a Bluetooth connection because it provides you one through the adapter. Okay, so I have the wireless adapter and I have my Xbox controller. So I'm gonna first turn on my Xbox controller. Obviously it's not connected to anything, so let me put that right here for a second. Now we're gonna put this in. Perfect, you can even hear it on the computer. Now, you have to click this top button here, hold it, and now, oh, my thing turned off. And now I also have to click this, the top button on the on the on the Xbox as well. And now you see they're they're connected. You'll even see it on the computer as well. So, boom, bap, skilly bap. And so now you see device is ready right here. Um, X input. Um, HID device is set up and ready to go. You can click that and now you can see that we are connected. And if you go to Bluetooth and other devices and you scroll down, you'll see that Xbox wireless adapter for Windows is right there. 
and you'll see X input compatible HID device, which is just referring to my Xbox controller. So here we are. Let's open up Steam and try out a quick game. See what we got. So let's try Apex Legends or something. Yeah, yeah. If you listen, if y'all have been watching my tutorials, y'all know I'm rocking with Apex Legends big time. Y'all know that. So don't be surprised. It's more or less the same game. I know, but that's what it is. Boom, you see me? I'm in the firing range. All right, here we go. Mm hmm. 360. Hold on. I didn't hit nothing. Mm. Give me that Sentinel. And. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Got him. Easy. And one last thing that's heavily recommended for you to do, just so that you're gaming very smoothly on Steam and even other game launchers, but we're only going to focus on Steam for this tutorial. You're going to want to make sure that Steam reads your controller correctly. So just come over to Steam. You're going to click Steam in the top left corner. Go to Settings. Then you're going to click Controller. And then you go, see, click Controller. Then you're going to go to General Controller Settings. Right here, make sure to click Xbox configuration support okay and really click Xbox extended feature support uh, uh, I'll restart later Let's see as you can see I'm really more of a PS5 guy so I didn't know and then generic gamepad configuration support so I mean I mean optimally really just have all these checked off truthfully but I just came to let you guys know you're going to want to check the um, check off the Xbox stuff as well so that when you're playing your Xbox games, you'll have a good experience and minimize any hiccups that might come about with software integration issues between Steam and Xbox. It's actually funny that this says Xbox One controller. I guess Steam doesn't really know or maybe even care about the difference between the Xbox Series XS controller and the Xbox One controller. But, you know, when you're going on Steam, just make sure to do all this really quickly so that your gaming will be at the best level and probably do the same for any other game launcher that might have this type of support available okay so now i'm going to show you a couple cool things that you know if you're going to be using your xbox series x controller on your pc it's nice to know so many of you may already know this if you click click the xbox button you'll get your game bar right there on your desktop which is really cool but unfortunately no matter how many times i press it you won't be able to see it because OBS cannot capture what I'm seeing on the screen. So I have to screenshot it in order to show you. But if you ever want to see it for yourself, you just got to get an Xbox controller connected to your PC and boom, you're part of the club. But if you also go into Steam, let me just leave it real quick. If you go into Steam and then you head over to the same controller settings that we were in, you know, I I had this button checked before, but I unchecked it so that I could do this properly. But if you check this button as well, let's X out Steam. Now, from, from now on, whenever you click the Xbox button, not only will you get the game bar, but you'll also get Steam. You see? Boom. So, those are a couple cute things to know. And, if you're going to be using your Xbox controller with PC, you're going to want to know about the Xbox Accessories app. So, you're going to go online, you're just going to Google the Xbox Accessories app. It's really easy. You just go. Um, it'll take you to this thing. I already have it installed, but you can just do install open. Um, it'll go here. It's not rated that highly, but that's only because of recent updates and stuff like that. But you know, you download it, click open. And again, because of recent updates, just like me, you may be finding some issues with it. But over the long term, this app, this app has been pretty good. And what happens is you're going to open it up, which is, this is the Xbox accessories app. And whenever you want to adjust or calibrate your controller, you would do it with this app you would definitely use this for whenever you have to update firmware for the controller so normally you might update the firmware on the controller through the console but if you didn't have the console or didn't want to do it through the console you would wire up your controller to the PC and update the firmware again it's not looking like that's working all too well right now but when they fix it that's how it would normally work right now it's showing because it's connected through Bluetooth so it works through Bluetooth but for whatever reason, wired up, it's not gonna show. For me right now, it shows the button I'm pressing. You see, these are things that, you, that you're gonna wanna know just to keep and uh, be able to maintain, you know, your Xbox uh, experience on PC. Just a few things. Those are all the ways that you can connect your Xbox controller 
to your PC. I hope I was a big help to you guys. I really appreciate it. Let me know, like I always ask for, is there anything that I missed out on? Is there anything that you would like me to touch on? Is there anything more that I could have done? Was I wrong about anything? Let me know in the comments down below. It would really mean a lot to me. I love the engagement. And again, if I helped you out, remember to like and subscribe. It takes me to a higher level. And I appreciate it. So without further ado, I'll let you go. Chuggavelli out, man. Peace.